Hi, good morning, good evening. Welcome to you all, wherever you are. My name is Abhishek Srivastava. I have more than 29 years of experience in the industry of information technology. I have worked as a programmer, business analyst, project and program manager. As an IT professional working on a project, whether you are a business analyst or project manager, one of the questions which is always in your mind, should you document requirements? How detailed should be the requirements? Has documentation become old fashion thing. So in this video, I'm going to discuss and present to you my point of view about documenting requirements. Is it required or it has it become outdated? Now, one school of thought, which is obviously about the adoption of agile approach, that school of thought believes that documenting the requirements, especially the detailed version like SRS and FRD and so on, is not needed anymore. So they believe that a high level requirement description in the form of user stories should be good enough. So as per them, it can be followed by collaboration amongst the product owner, business analyst and other team members. Whereas there's another school of thought which believes that we still need to have a detailed requirements document. The high level specs with the team collaboration is not good enough. Which one of them is correct? Which one of them is wrong? And what do I think? So first of all, let me clarify. I'm not going to prove anyone wrong. What I'm going to do is to tell you what are the factors which should be considered to document the requirements in the detailed manner, meaning you document in the form of a detailed specifications document in the format or in the form of SRS. Let's consider the first point, which is about complexity and the size of the project. A complex project has its own set of challenges. The complexity can be related to domain. It could be related to the team size. It could be related to number of stakeholders. It could be related to number of APIs, interfaces, and so on. In such a large scale project, it's very important that we have proper documentation so, so that the knowledge can be disseminated easily. Even though we are taking an agile approach where sprint are getting executed, but in a large scale project, there'll be multiple sprints. The outcome or the goal of every sprint may have dependencies on the other sprints or the outcome of the other sprints. So somebody has to define those interfaces, those agreement between the requirements so that at the end, they work together in a cohesive unit so that the client gets the value or the goal can be achieved. So the complexity and the size of the project definitely demand a detailed documentation. As opposed to that, if you're working on a very small project, then it is manageable to have very high level documentations. And because of the sheer shorter size of the project, a couple of people can understand the entire domain and disseminate the knowledge with the team members without having to worry about too many complexities. The second factor to consider is nature of the project. If a project is about a highly regulated domain, for example, medicine, healthcare, taxation, policy related, financial, GDPR, and so on, then also a detailed and specific documentations become important to avoid any kind of legal or regulatory issues later on. Because remember, these are highly regulated domains and any mistakes can prove to be very expensive for the client because there could be some government actions if certain standards are not followed. So it's very important in those cases to have really detailed documentation so that everybody understands it. Even the testing team can take reference from these documentations and do the testing properly. Number three, data intensive projects. All the data driven projects, whether, whether an analysis or reporting project or an AI project requires to capture detailed business rules that have data ma mapping algorithms and so on. So in order to avoid any gaps in understanding the business rules, it's very important that we document them in a proper detailed manner. The last point is about the team itself. For example, if there's no documentation and a new person joins in, how will that person with, without 
the documentation how will they try to learn about the project somebody can give a demo of the project to the new person but it's not about just the high level understanding if they have to work like a programmer or a business analyst or even as a project manager they need to have a really thorough understanding so documentation definitely helps there as well so a detailed documentation like srs uh, frd and so on can be really helpful in a new joiny becoming familiar with the detailed specifications on the system so these were the four factors which in my view must be considered before we decide whether documentation or detailed documentation is required or not now some of the factors will make sure that a majority of the projects will actually need detailed documentation no matter what we say about agile agile never recommends no documentation it just says document the things as late as possible agile does not say that you need to completely avoid documentation and detailed documentations are extremely important especially for the requirements they play an important role and in my view there is a lot of merit in detailing out the requirements and put it into a proper form of document if you have liked the video please click on the like button and subscribe to our channel thank you once again